Oh, look at this. There's like old like glass in here. Somebody's like stabbed it. Ooh! Is it under the stabbed tree? No. <laughs> Hey friends, it is Joshua, the geocaching vlogger, and it's a beautiful day. It's a beautiful day in the neighborhood because today is Cash Crate Day. I'm going to unbox a cash crate. If you don't know what the cash crate is, every month Lisa from Cash Advance packs up geocaching goodies for people to enjoy and to open. It's like a geocaching holiday every single month. It's delivered right to my door. Lisa knows what geocachers like, and I unbox it for you. It was sent to me a couple weeks ago, so everybody who's already gotten it has already opened up their cash crate. Another thing I love about the cash crate is it inspires me to get outside and actually use this stuff in here. I have not opened it yet. I have no idea what's in it. The box this month is a little bigger and a little lighter. Let's begin. All right. I say it every month, but first, let's just enjoy the presentation, shall we? Ooh, red, my favorite color. <laughs> Sorry, when I get excited, I break into peewee. First thing that's in here is a piece of paper that describes what's in here. I'm not gonna look at it, I'm just gonna grab, but you're gonna get to see it right now. Oh, you get it, you get it? You gotta be quick, you gotta be quick. Yes! This is extremely practical and extremely useful. The history of Cash Advance is that Lisa started by selling Dr. B's cash repair kits. It is a whole kit filled with stuff to repair caches with. Make sure they look good, are ready to be found, have the log books in it. I'm gonna show you what's in here. This is like an unbagging inside of an unboxing. Obviously first it comes with a great tough bag. First of all, it comes with this thing so you can attach it to the outside of your bag. We got lots of baggies to put logbooks in. We have logbooks to replace if they're in rough shape. Oh, how useful is this? A pencil sharpener. Is your cash missing a pen? No more. A really nice marker. Smaller logbooks, small golf pencils if it is missing in fact a pencil. And this is so cute. A little wood nickel that says first to fix. Useful, practical. I had one of these and I already used all the stuff and now I've got a brand new one. How perfect is this? We got a matchbox container if you want to keep your matches dry. This serves as an awesome geocache. It has an O-ring in it, so it keeps everything dry. I will certainly use this. Ooh, day hiking essentials. A folding pocket guide to gear plan and useful tips. Lisa included a little hiking guide. Has all kinds of tips for hiking. Look at this, information galore. This is very interesting. Look at, on the bottom they included a little bingo card. And I got a little dot for this month, August 2019. These instructions are on the back. How to play. Each month you will receive a sticker with a month of your crate and stick it to a month square. When you complete other squares, place an X through the square and list the date complete. Post pictures of your bingo card on the Facebook group as you go. Black out four rows, columns, or diagonals. Post completed bingo card in the Facebook group. Email Lisa, and two winners will be randomly selected each month. I wonder if I can complete this one if I've actually made an unboxing video. I assume this means watch an unboxing video, but if I make one, that is even better. And every month, I also get the add-on trackables. So this month, I got a little cash cans and a little squirrel. This was a really good month, chalk filled with lots of stuff. So if you wanna be part of the cash crew and receive a cash crate every month, go to cashcrate.com. You can subscribe there, you can cancel anytime, and you too can receive the fun every single month. So this week is streak week for geocaching.com. You have to find a geocache every day. I've got six days and today is the seventh day. So today, if I find a geocache, I get the special souvenir. So I was looking at the geocaching map and I noticed that there was a where I go geocache that hasn't been found for over a year. So it made me think, inspiration, if it hasn't been found in a year, it might need a little love with Dr. P's cash crate repair kit. <laughs> So check that, I'm not gonna go find a lonely where I go, but I'm going to find a lonely challenge cache that I DNF'd two years ago. So if I find this, I do have my Dr. B's cache repair kit to give it a little love if it needs it. Can you see why this cache has been a little bit lonely? It's not the easiest spot to get to. Oh my gosh, this cache location is crazy. Look at all this like old, rusted ruins. It looks like there's like an old car out here or a tractor, or I have no idea. But lots of crazy places to hide something. There's a barrel. Be very careful around this stuff. Fake pine cone, maybe, possibly? No. 
geocache. Are you in that sludge? Look at this old pail. That would be, that would be a clever spot to hide one, but I don't think that's it. Found another pail. Oh, oh my gosh, yes! Look, you guys see that in there? I spy with my little eye. Careful not to get cut. Oh yeah, baby! I found it! Two years lonely. What a satisfying feeling. Two years lonely through two Minnesota blizzard winters. And I found it. I found it! All right, let's see what kind of shape this is in. All right, open her up. Two years. Oh yes, oh my gosh. You guys, dry as a bone. Dry as a bone, in great shape. That is a sign of a good hider right there and a good container. Check this out. Last on September 9th, 2017. Oh, it's late August, 2019. What an incredible feeling. I don't know about you guys, but it really feels like lost treasure when it, this has been sitting out here this long. so that geocache didn't need any love from the repair kit, so let's find another one. Fun fact, this one has a trackable that wants to meet me. So how cool is that? Ah, yes. Come to Papa. Found it. Oh, that's kind of fun. So cool. Check out this. It's a proxy of the Geo Challenge coin that he won. This is in his collection. Brent didn't want it to go missing, so he just sent out a picture of it. How cool is that? There you go, Brent. Sim Rebel, mission accomplished. It got to me. Again, a cache in such great shape. So no need for Dr. B's. I'm gonna have to use it another time. Guys, thanks so much for joining us for this video. Now, go over here and watch another video and I'll see you over there.